distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for inviting me. I am sorry that I couldn't not be there in person, but I am pleased to see so many great speakers and stakeholders from all over the world are joining this conference. This conference is important for many reasons. First and foremost, we have to stay committed to the long-term effort of reducing emissions in line with the Paris Agreement. Secondly, we need to collaborate and find smart solutions that pave the way for clean energy and sustainable economic growth. The urgency to tackle climate change is accelerating CCS in many regions worldwide. The Asia-Pacific is stepping up as a major player in CCS and holds massive potential for scaling up this technology. Last year in Jakarta, representatives from Norway and the Asia-Pacific region met to reform our commitment to further strengthen our cooperation on the energy transition. Since then, we have had the pleasure of welcoming several delegations from your region to our ministry. Norway has a long history with CCS. Sleipne started capturing and storing CO2 in 1996, and we have learned a lot. We know it works, we know it's safe, and not least, we know that a close cooperation between policy and the industry provides results. Our experience for storing CO2 safely and permanently under the seabed has given us valuable know-how and technology that can help accelerate CCS as a cost-effective climate mitigation tool. We have high ambitions for CCS. Longship is one of the biggest climate projects undertaken by Norwegian industry and unique in terms of the technical and commercial model. Longship will be fully operational in 2025. This is no longer a desktop exercise. This is happening. And we want to share your, our knowledge because just as this conference, results happen when we work together across borders. The recent CCS partnership between Japanese and Malaysian companies is a great example, and we need more cooperation like this. For the times ahead, we need to address many issues. We need to work together to remove regulatory barriers, facilitate cross-border transport for permanent storage, to reach economies of scale, and to create a global market for CCS. In this process, public-private partnerships are a key. It is crucial to have a close dialogue with the industry and all the competent people driving projects forward. As in any other groundbreaking projects, setbacks and challenges is bound to happen. I urge you to keep your head in the game. Together can we make CCS a viable and cost-efficient measure to reduce emission. My sincere hope is that this conference will be a good platform for good discussions and that everyone will leave with new ideas and practical takeaways. Thank you so much.